Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature along with other safety related videos and leadership training videos. Well let's go ahead and get started with this week's toolbox safety topic video. This month we're concentrating on the caught in or between hazards. In reading through the internet I found one by Kendall Jones and it's entitled Avoiding OSHA's Fatal Four The Caught In or Between Hazard. OSHA has determined that there are four main safety hazards excluding transportation incidents that account for a majority of all construction worker deaths each year on the job site. Dubbed the Fatal Four by OSHA, they include falls, electrocutions, being struck by objects, and getting caught in or between hazards. In 2016, 63.7% of all fatalities at construction sites were from one of OSHA's Fatal Four. Today we're focusing on caught in or between hazards and how to prevent and protect against them. Caught in or between hazards are caused when a worker is compressed between or gets caught in equipment or objects. It also includes when a worker is killed by getting caught, struck, or crushed from materials, equipment, or collapsing structure. According to OSHA, accident caused by getting caught in or between objects accounted for 72 construction worker deaths in 2016, which is 7.3% of the 991 fatalities that occurred on construction sites. Let's concentrate on the caught in or between hazards. Caught in or between Accidents occur when someone is caught, crushed, squeezed, compressed, or pinched between two or more objects. Examples include getting your hand caught in the moving parts of an unguarded piece of machinery, being buried by a trench cave-in, and getting pinned between a wall and a piece of heavy equipment. These accidents are similar to struck by accidents with the main difference that in caught in between accidents is a result of crushing injuries and not the initial impact as they are with struck by accidents. Let's talk about power tools and machinery accidents. To avoid being caught in machinery and power tools, you should never operate a piece of equipment when the safety guards are missing or have been intentionally removed. Never wear loose clothing or anything that could hang down and get caught in moving parts and pull you in. Make sure all equipment is properly de-energized when not in use to avoid it from accidentally being started. This is especially important when you're doing any kind of work on the equipment, such as repairs, changing accessories, or performing routine maintenance. Let's talk about heavy equipment accidents. Heavy equipment on a construction site is a common occurrence and can lead to a false sense of security. Workers should never place themselves in between a moving vehicle and an unmovable object such as a wall. As mentioned before, operators don't always have a clear line of sight all around them. If you are operating a piece of heavy equipment, you should do so carefully and correctly. Never overload or overwork a piece of equipment, as this can cause it to tip over. It is important that if you are operating heavy equipment that you properly wear any seat belts or safety restraints that is equipped with the equipment. In the event of a piece of equipment does tip over, the cabs of those machines are designed and reinforced to protect the worker. 
That can't happen if the worker is thrown or jumps from the equipment if it tips over. Finally, let's talk about trenching accidents. One of OSHA's agency priority goals for 2018 is to reduce trenching and excavation hazards. There were almost twice as many fatalities from trenching and excavation accidents in 2016 compared to the average of the previous five years. Their goal is to increase awareness of construction trenching hazards and educate employers and workers on how to prevent cave-ins and trench collapses. Improperly protected trenches and excavations are another major cause of caught-in or between accidents. Any trench that is deeper than five feet needs to have protective systems in place. If the trench or excavation is over 20 feet deep, a professional engineer is required to design the protective system. Trenches should be protected by being properly sloped or benched to avoid collapse. Shoring trenches to support the sides of the excavation can also prevent collapse. Utilizing trench boxes and shields can protect workers from being buried or crushed by cave-ins. Heavy equipment use near an excavation should be avoided when workers are inside the trench to avoid causing cave-ins or having the equipment fall into the excavation. OSHA requires that trenching and excavation work be inspected by a competent person. A competent person must be trained on the requirements of the OSHA standard, use of protective systems, and soil classification. They are responsible for identifying and eliminating any hazards before any worker enters the area and while work is ongoing. Any trench that is deeper than five feet needs to have protective systems in place to prevent accidents. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature along with other safety related videos and leadership training videos. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. <clears throat> My recording? Yep. One, two, three. Utilize trench boxes and shields can protect workers from being... <clears throat> Util... <clears throat> Make sure that you... <sighs> that was the third take. My throat is so parsed. I am so tired. I think I'm going to keep this one. If y'all get this far, you'll get to see a couple of the bloopers. Thanks for watching and have a grateful day. Okay, stop recording.